like that, and he plays ZDD. So I'm not sure if this is just a different guy or if it's the same guy. It might, it might, it might be the same guy, but it might be a different guy. Either way, I'm excited yeah. to find out. And again, it looks like we are going into the match right now. So we're going to be starting on PS2. I feel like the PS2 is like basically the new Smashville. No, everybody's just like, you want to go here? Avoid the whole striking process. I uh, know nope, they're going to be striking. Yep. Well, now they messed it up. One of them was like on three, and the other oh, one was like on shoot. shoot. All right, J-Ball winning uh, the, the RPS. All right. Striking stages. Looks like we are going oh, to FD. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I don't care about striking. I want to go here. We're going to go to FD. I yeah. love it. I mean, as long as we go, don't go here, we're fine, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, like I guess Luigi board plays Luigi. Let's see who J-Ball is going to play. DDD, yep. like I think you guessed. Yep. So, so Luigi versus DDD. A lot of you is going to be thinking like, oh, DDD gets grabbed once, he's probably going to die. And that's probably right. Yep. A lot of Lu like Luigi's combos, ooh, fresh. Oh, yeah. I mean, things that if DDD gets grabbed at zero, if he doesn't get zero to death, then he lives until like 200%. Mm. So like, I feel like the pat, like the basic Luigi zero to death, you know, down throw, uh, dare and air, dare up air, up B might not kill DDD just because of like his survivability. Right. It does kill DDD if you do like a second dare before the up B. All right, that makes sense. I go, oh, going for the edge guard. Gordo gonna you know save him there. All right. And spinning the Gordo back out, and yet again covering the approach option with that down tilt. Oh, but Ooh. Luigi going for a high side B, but not getting punished for it, unfortunately. Yeah, I feel like he wanted to go for ledge, just barely missed. Right. Oh, going out for the Nair as an edge guard. I'm not sure if I like that idea, just because it sends him upwards instead of like to the side. All right. I thought he was gonna just uh, put out his air, but you know, to each their own. Right. Oh, I like going for that Nair to uh, down B combo, but unfortunately did not quite jump high enough to get the Cyclone. Yeah, he definitely could have had that one. I don't even know what he hit him with. I think that was up smash. He was inside of him when that happened. Right. Going to take the first stock here. J-Ball looking decent, but immediately revenge stock taking it. Yeah. And ooh, that oh. side B is going to get punished heavily with that forward smash right there. Yet again. All right, just uh, calling out the, uh, the end lag of the Gordo, just doing a quick F smash. 38%, right. not too bad, but he's still taking damage from these Gordos. Right. I feel like that's one of the situations where, like, if you're a Luigi at low percent, your go-to punish is going to be a grab just to get your grab combo off, you know? Get a quick, like, 60 to 90%. <laughs> Eating against fireballs and spinning it back out. I want to see how much percent that does if he eats it. So I'm not sure about the damage multiplier that Suck has. I think it's, like, 1.1 1 .1 or something. It's, like, not uh, that It's not that strong. Oh, uh, that's, that's not cool. Uh, he tries to go for the wake-up DP, but not actually close to hitting it. All right. And gets the oh, misfire. Oh, my gosh. That's got to feel so bad. You, you know he wasn't really go. He wanted the misfire, just unlucky, and then the second misfire, but sticking actually to the, to the stage. All right. Oh, gets the quick bear out of shield. Dash attack in it. Oh, he was looking for that roll in, but unfortunately he thought, okay, he's not going to roll in. Let me punish in, and then got punished actually, for it. Yeah. And actually dying to that Gordo. So one stock a piece here. Getting the first grab that I've actually seen this Luigi get, but he didn't get much damage. I'm not sure... If he really knows the combos that well, or if he's like new to it, all right. I mean, that's like the bread and butter thing that I've, like. If you decide to pick up Luigi, that's like the first thing you should probably learn how to do consistently is that tornado like mm. combo, basically. But oh yeah, don't touch my shield. Quick up B out of shield, gonna take that first game. Uh. You saw that first time he landed on his shield. He just did a quick narrow to shield. Interesting option. That second one immediately with the up B. I mean, with DDD being such a big hitbox, it's kind of easier to get that sweet spot up B, especially if it's on shield, which mm -hmm. is not safe on block. Yeah, not at all. So, Dane Dane going to take the first game. So, good stuff to both players. I'm, again, I'm really surprised about the FD pick, just because both these players, I think, you would think would benefit a lot off of having platforms to, like, extend pressure. But... You could you would think that the DDD wants FD just for like the traps, so Luigi can't land. Right. To which I can understand. I so. know like Luigi, like a lot of like platforms can can kind of like.
get in the way of certain combos, but like they can also extend them to hell and high water, so. That's true. Let's see. Uh, I think we're going through the stage picks. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think these might be new players. Not really knowing how the stage picks works. And over here in SoCal, we do, do uh, two stage bans. And no, uh, no days, no days, right? Yeah, no there's DSR. no stage clause. Yep. I think, yeah, Warchief is explaining to him. Oh, I think they both plugged into the wrong thing, so I think the mm -hmm. player tags might have been messed up. Yeah, he's explaining to them how which how both of them go out. All right. All right, there we go. Right. Now we need to switch back the tags. All right. So I definitely think I uh, I think we got the the names wrong. Whoops. Uh, yep. Or not? I don't I don't think so. Yeah, I think it's still Dane Dane. Yeah. Yet again, Luigi did well, but is he considering maybe a character switch based off of the the Sage choice? Yeah, I think, I don't know. I think they're thinking about it. I wouldn't switch off to Luigi. It ended up working out. Yeah, it was a one-stock game, but he still had a pretty dominant that one stock. He was at low percent. He got that up B. Let's see where we're going to be going. Oh, looks like there's a controller issue. Ooh, unfortunate. Some technical, technical difficulties going on from the controller standpoint. But got good guy, Warchief, over here. Yep. Ready to help. A lot of people, Not a lot of people don't know, but it's very common knowledge that if you hold X, Y, and start, you can disconnect your controller and then reset it to a neutral position. So, you know, if your stick is a little bit uh, leaning to the left or right, you'll it'll be at a neutral position. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes that slight edge, that could actually mean a stock or something. And that's not that's the last thing you want right. in a high-tense, uh, high-pressure situation, just a controller malfunction. All right. Especially like when it's like last stock class hit, you know, any small misinput, misclick, like that can cost you the whole game and even the set. Oh, I think it's a pro controller. Someone's pro controller set up. Oh. There is a way where if you get into the switch, you can make it so that you can disconnect all Pro controllers are all wireless controllers, mm. and then make sure that like this situation doesn't happen again. Uh, I believe it was uh, yeah. You have to uh, Sedge. You Sedge showed a video of uh, how to do it. Yeah, I know Sedge and Bear posted videos. You pretty much just connect your uh, controller to your phone uh, via Bluetooth, and then afterwards you just turn your Bluetooth off, and your controller is completely con uh, right. disconnected, which is like a big trouble because people just didn't know how to disconnect, so they either had to hold it in their hand. They're like, I don't care, throw it in your bag. That's right. messed up everyone's match. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're finally fixing the controller issues. Yep, just two USB controllers. All right, just going back to FD. All right. I can agree with both those picks. You really want FD if you want that big stage, do your extended combos. If you don't want your opponent to land. Oh, another pro controller. Yep. That is, uh, I don't know how that could have happened. He literally just disconnected them. All right. And now we're going to have to figure out what is wrong here. I don't even think oh, maybe they disconnected? At least you would have, you'd have thought so. Yeah, yeah I, th I think I think the pro controller person actually. Looks like they managed to fix it, maybe. All right, yeah, All now right. we're fixing things. I think both of them have the right tags now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, we Technical are. Technical difficulties aside, finally getting over to game two. Again, going back to FD. People are going to be watching the bots. Why is this like a 15 minute set? <laughs> uh, 
again. Oh, wow, the Jet Hammer, that must have been a miss input. Probably tried going for the Gordo instead. Yeah, not a move you really see often. It's really good as that hard read punish or a shield break punish, but other than that, a little bit lagging is kind of predictable, so you can kind of just react to it. Spike, he's dead, actually. He Ooh. took his jump. What a reversal. Yet again, Luigi, not the best recovery uh, anymore. Now that he can't use the Rising Tornado, but yeah. yet again, he's super reliant on that double jump. You can take it away, then Luigi's dead mm -hmm. off stage. But yeah, Luigi's still a character who can recover a lot, but just once, it's really linear. So once you get that hard read on him, you could actually just gimp him, but it's really dependent on like how good your spacing is, just throwing the fireballs at him. And again, trying to get the, he managed to get the inhale from like above him and barely avoiding that the misfire right there. Oh, just misfire again. Hit the Gordo and him. I'll give you all this damage. Still not taking the stock offers. This, I can, you would assume that he probably just wants to go for an up smash or an up B, but doing that, he has to get right inside of this uh, dude, and he's doing a really good job of just keeping him out. Gordo almost taking him off the top 113%. Trying to avoid him, run off fair, get him. Three stocks to one now. This DDD off that first reversal, he's gained so much momentum, but that up he. Oh my god, Luigi is throwing that like, okay, I may be down, but I am certainly not out at this point. Yeah, so. again, I'm not sure if he knows like the correct like 0 to 100% grab combos he can do, but if he does get one grab, this could be the stock. All right. There we go, Here's first grab, oh. down smash, yeah. I think he is one of these new players who's like not really sure on how this oh goes. Oh no, oh no. Eat him and take him down, taking that second game with basically a two stock. All right. I mean, that's one of those things where, like, as a, like as fighting against any DDD, if, you, if they're going for that inhale, you need to know how to mash out of that move like crazy. Mm -hmm. And a minute and 40-second match for game two. He said all those technical difficulties aside, let me get this quick uh, quick reversal. So we're going to be going into game three, and after that, I'd honestly consider changing characters. All right. But, yeah, we're going to stick with it. That is his right and true man. He did get the first game. Just got to clean up some things. He he had an unfortunate reversal with that down air, and then after that, just the momentum shifts over to the DDD. Mm -hmm. Yet again, going for that grab at the beginning, unfortunately missing, and takes 30% off of that one move. He took it from the Gordo, and then the and then the hammer uh, actually launched him with so much damage. Right. Uh, DDD is definitely one of those characters where you blink and you're like, wait, where did all this damage come from? I thought DDD was a bad character. Right. And there's right. inhale, and then yet again, DDD is a lo lot of disjointed moves, so yet again, it's going to be really hard for Luigi to Don't get touch in. touch my shield, up B, almost killing him at 80. All right. And yet again, all these Gordos, like, how's the Luigi going to deal with all this? Oh, I like rolling behind him, but unfortunately it's not going to work. Goes for a down smash as a punish. Would have liked to see an up smash that most likely would have killed. Uh, at that percent, probably not. But, I mean, damage is damage. Ooh. Ooh tries to go for the edge guard. Both of them trying to go for a reversal again. Right. Fireball dash attack. Only going to get some damage in. Interesting right. idea going low, but getting the tech there. Really saving his life, but he actually took a lot more damage for it because he got he teched it and then got hit by the Gordo again. Oh no, and he air dodged into the up B. Unfortunate for that's, for Dan Dan. That's so surprising. That yeah, that uh the descent on the up B actually kills now, so it'll actually take you if you're at a decent amount percent. Oh we saw J Ball trying to go for that inhale suicide again, but unfortunately eats a back air for it. Yep. Dan Dane not too far out, only six sixty percent on him, but 20% on D to D right now. <laughs> Actually, yeah, like you said, it only does not that uh, much reflected, which is kind of disappointing because all, right. all reflectors are really cool and they should do a lot more damage, but not my choice for game design. I mean, there are some projectiles that, like, because DD inhales it and he spits it back out, it's actually better. Like, if DDD inhales a Belmont Axe, it'll essentially spit it out straight forward instead of going in that arc like every other reflector would, like, reflect it back. Oh, I didn't know that. That's really yeah. cool. I mean, what was really interesting is that uh, that DDD actually had the punish with the Luigi Cyclone, but he went for down smash instead of up smash. Mm -hmm. And then right before it came out, he just cycloned again. Oh, and he again, had, he, he had, had the up air, but unfortunately the Nair kind of trading it uh, before he could get it out fully. Yeah, wait a little too long to go for it. Oh, I love the parry there. Oh, Luigi tried going for that up B for the punish, but unfortunately going to be missed base. And the DDD Oh also my gosh, he was so close to getting that hammer, but SDing, I don't know if he lost his jump or something, but that's not really what you want to happen. This is game three. He already has 60% on him. Mm -hmm. And another up B out of shield. And another Double up B. I'll hit you with two. I don't care. Great stuff to Dane. Uh, right. To Dane Dane taking that 2-1, especially after that game two. He kind of just got rocked. He got thrown around.